Hey there everyone, welcome to a brand new Marvel Select action figure review. Today we will be looking at the Disney Store exclusive Battle Damaged Mark 42 Iron Man armor. This is something very interesting and the uh, main reason I bought it was I already have the Marvel Legends figure. So I decided if I find the Disney Store exclusive one, I'm going to get it because it's Battle Damaged. It has a Robert Downey head sculpt and I really like that a lot. So um Let's take a look at the packaging here. Okay, so we have up top the Marvel Select logo and the Disney Store exclusive logo. On the side here, you can see that it says Battle Damage Iron Man Mark 42 Armor. Then down here at the bottom, you can obviously see the Arc Reactor. And it says uh, Special Collector's Edition Action Figure and then in a couple other different languages. Then down at the bottom we have Marvel Iron Man 3. Now for the Disney Store exclusive, they actually changed the image on the side of Iron Man so I kinda like this one a little bit better than regular ones pretty neat nothing special though here on the back we have the Iron Man 3 logo again the promotional picture of the action figure the Avengers Initiative logo on the bottom if we zoom in here we have the Disney Store exclusive Iron Patriot as well we have the genuine original authentic logo with Marvel and Disney Store logos again marvelkids.com then we have down here the diamond select toys logo uh, and it has the official merchandise movie merchandise logo there we have the proof of purchase which is twenty four ninety five little bio of Iron Man you guys wanna go ahead and read that you can So the articulation on this figure is very good. It has about 16 points of articulation. He has a ball jointed head and it's also on a hinged. So that's good. And it rotates 360. He has ball hinge shoulders, swivel biceps, hinged elbows, hinged wrists, and also swivels. Okay. Of course, he has upper torso articulation. Okay, he has hinged hips. And swivel as well here. Okay, double hinged knees. You guys can see there. Hinged ankles as well, and his feet also pivot, which that's great because it allows you for even better articulation. Going into the details of the figure, like I said, it's battle damaged, so it has some really nice, well, battle damage to the armor. Uh, very cool. There, if we focus on the uh, the paint, you can tell that it's you know it's weathered. Like I said, it's damaged again, so you know it's not you know pristine, beautiful painted, but it's so beat up. I mean, it looks like if it was some sort of a custom figure. One thing to note is that Marvel Select did not paint the uh, the mouth part of the piece same color as the face plate or up top here so it's missing the color but I excuse it for this particular figure because it's battle damage but um, even the regular one the standard one also has that same issue so I'm not sure why they missed out on that that's that's a shame on their part but other than that if we zoom in more you guys will be able to tell that there's like a lot of paint missing I love it because the arc reactor even stands out more and it looks like it's lighting up. You got some black in here. The detail on the entire armor. It's just nothing but beat up. All the way down to the boots. So as you can tell, uh, they did a phenomenal job with the detail on this guy. I love how they painted the eyes, which is different from the Marvel Legends one. Because it looks more movie accurate and it just it stands out when it's battle damage. The, it looks like they're, the eyes and the arc reactors lighting up. It looks so good. So some of the accessories that this figure comes with, as you can tell, he has the, the Hall of Armor base. Which, in my opinion, is much better looking than the Iron Man 2 line ones. 
I'll give you a better look of that in just a moment. He also comes with two pairs of hands, interchangeable hands, so that's cool, and a Robert Downey Jr. head sculpt, which I'll put it on the body in just a moment for you guys to look at. Let's look at the base here. The base is really neat, like I said. Much more detail on it. What's a shame is that I kind of wish it had pegs, so the figure will make sure that it stays in its place and it won't fall and tumble over. But I do like it. Hopefully I can get more of these. If anyone has any of these for sale, please personal message me. Don't comment in the video. Just personal message me and we'll see what we can work out because I definitely would like a few of these. I don't like the way this particular figure stands on it though. It looks so big for a small base. I mean, None of the armors in the films actually pass the actual display. That's why I kind of like the Marvel Legends one in here a lot more. It definitely looks a lot more accurate. See, it's more, more to scale. So here we have the other head sculpt which is with uh, Tony Stark's face. So let's zoom in here. Uh, it has a pretty interesting likeness to him. I can't say it's spot on, but it's uh, pretty much the best one I've seen to date in a 7-inch uh, line or 6-inch line if you're going to compare it to the past Marvel, um, the Iron Man lines that have, made, have been made for the first film and the second film. I definitely like it a lot more. It even looks a lot better, if we zoom out for a sec to the uh, the Iron Man 2 or the Avengers Tony Stark Marvel Select figure. You can definitely tell it didn't look as good. Just looked kinda weird as opposed to this one. I kinda wish they also made a uh, faceplate that you could just put up on this figure instead of having two separate heads. I kinda maybe understand why just because when you take off the faceplate there's like holes on his head on his forehead and also up top of the helmet so they tried to avoid that I kinda appreciate that but in the film he was just able to put it on with no problem it didn't actually have to slide up so you could just put it on his face and take it right off if um, you wanted to that's just my opinion but um, overall I still I still like it very much and I I think it's definitely one of the uh, the best Iron Man 3 figures you can have to date you can also have the Marvel Legends also, which is a 6 inch figure, but you can tell there's a big difference in size. Marvel Select usually likes to focus more on um, actual height of the figures. Maybe the Marvel Select is too tall for me. I think it's just right compared to if you stand him next to the Wolverine or if you have him stand next to Thor. He, uh, I think he's the shortest one. If not, he's just barely taller than Wolverine is. But overall, I think it's definitely a great figure. And I think if you. Uh, want to pick it up I highly recommend it I really like it again it retails for only at Disney stores for twenty four ninety five you can also purchase it at the um, uh, Disney store um, website uh, Marvel Select website Diamond Select website those three websites you can definitely purchase these and um, I, like I said definitely recommend it if you're an Iron Man fan that's the way to go and it's definitely the figure you want or if you want something more affordable you can always get this guy so I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Uh, stick around because I will be reviewing next the Marvel Select Thor The Dark World action figure. So stay tuned for that, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Facebook. The links to the that and my Twitter account will be down below. Thanks again, guys. Bye.